Hello to another episode about programming from tomavedev.com. So in this episode I'm gonna talk about universal unique identifier. It is used um, it was used initially mostly by Microsoft to generate licenses but uh, it ev it evolved and it it is now a worldwide standard adopted by the Open Software Fund Foundation for generating long in identifiers that are string based that are uh, that are long that are 128 uh, bits of length and they try to minimize the the chance of collision by embracing bigger numbers but uh, that are packaged in shorter in in shorter string length so i'm first i'm going to show you how to generate such unique universally unique identifiers in java I'm gonna create a new Java project. New Java project. And in this project, I'm going to create a new simple, a simple file with package and stuff, and create a main method and the generation of global identifiers in Java is with the GUID package, or it was UID package that is part of a Java programming language and you could uh, generate directly from a static me a static method random you universally unique ID and from this you could get the you could get the last significant bits and to generate a 64 bits integer from this uh, unique identifier this is uh, if you want uh, to get a um, wonk a unique wonk number but uh, if you want to generate unique string you could put out the string and i'm gonna run it several times to show you that it always it always generates random random string 99 and so on 9a and so db b4 so this is in java it you could extract it as a method and call it like this if you need some GUID somewhere in your program so if you want to generate globally unique identifier in Flutter here is a, an example hello world project that is the that increases a string and I'll stop it and I'll import uh, a new package that is UU unique universally unique ID and it is your your ID and I'll pop get and the UU ID must be 
import it in the main file like this no like uh, and I also import the the YouTube and currently because I am not using it it is marked as unused but on the click instead of having a integer that uh, is placed as state I'm gonna re replace this as string and I'm gonna put an empty string as a counter and here instead of this plus plus I'm gonna place here a new random string generated by the utility that I that I have imported and it is actually you, you could create an object that will be used to generate the chattery uh, ver version chattery version 4 of a unique identifier you could read the, the version 4 from Wikipedia w version 4 is a random version that is randomly generated and uh, it has some 4 bits that are used to and there are 2 or 3 bits to indicate the variation 10, 12 or so You could read about it on Wikipedia about this version 4 and for from this you you could have some more options but I'm not gonna dive in them right now I, I'm just gonna put out some uh, actually this this one returns uh, a string so let, let's see if this generates random unique ident identifiers and you see that it generates a random unique identifier in footer with the UUID package so another pro in, uh, I'm gonna show you how in another language in PHP you could do the same but I'm gonna use a method I have copied from from uh, stack over four and I'm gonna provide you this this method in in the in a blog post that I will write about generating globally unique identifiers
and I'm gonna run all this also to see if it actually generates globally unique identifiers and you must figure out places where this is used I have seen this in many many Microsoft systems that are beyond uh, licenses and I personally have used these types of identifiers in applications where a record is a created could be created in in variations of uh, systems it uh, for example on the front end or on the back end and if you want to have a uniqueness of a record that uh, is is not incremental like the integers and the uh, long numbers if you if you want to create a unique record that is unique globally beyond a simple uh, a single device uh, these types of identifiers are very useful i have used them in applications where you could create a record on the back end or on the number of front ends like mobile applications and so on so i are uh, and especially in types of applications for synchronization this will be probably something for another article so this it probably for this video